up, fellow followers, and welcome to Fancy and Today After You. Looks like the Wes Craven movie Cursed will be being released by Scream Factory in a two-disc uh, set featuring the original theatrical cut and the unrated cut, which I do believe was previously released, and this will be available April 26th. Now, for those of you who may not know, this movie... This movie could have been something so much better. Uh, I'm going to give you, you know, the card straight to you here. I hated this movie. I did not like the Cursed. I did not like get it, like it at one bit. Um, and then, you know, as a horror fan, as a Wes Craven fan, you learn a little more about what went into Cursed and everything. And uh, sadly, I don't believe that we're getting the Wes Craven cut with this Scream Factory uh, set, which sucks. And I do believe, like, Patrick Lucier, which I'm hoping I'm saying his name right, and Piz Wall, which I'm hoping saying his name right, uh, they did sort of like an interview. And uh, Patrick said that, you know, the Wes Craven cut, yeah, a lot of it was pretty much filmed. It was all done the way he had envisioned and everything. But they never really shot the ending and I mean it was this movie could have had so much great potential in it there's so many people that were supposed to be in this movie I mean Kevin Williamson and uh, Wes Craven teamed up after Scream and you know and Scream 2 and they were coming back for this and uh, they were going to make it like a hard R-rated werewolf movie Rick Baker was on board we had Skeet Ulrich from you know Billy Loomis from Scream I mean look at this behind the scenes uh, clips that E.T. shared once before Dina Ricci in this E.T. first. Hi, E.T. Welcome to the set of Cursed. Hollywood is known as a dog-eat-dog -dog town, but in their new movie Cursed, Skeet and Christina find that out the hard way when they come face-to-face -face with a werewolf. They don't know what it is, and over the next couple days, they start exhibiting very strange behavior. We didn't actually see any werewolves when we popped by the Hollywood set, but we were assured they were out there. In theaters next year, audiences can expect a mix of horror and humor with some killer special effects. I'm sure they'll be scared. I'm sure they'll laugh and, you know, they'll cry if the ticket prices continue to climb. We asked Christina if she has a favorite horror movie. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, because it's so frightening. Leatherface, are you kidding me? Also co-starring in Cursed is James Brolin. I mean, that let alone right there is so much drastically different than the actual movie that we got. I mean, there's even people clamoring for the Mandy Moore cut of the film because Mandy Moore was actually in the movie and much like Skeet Ulrich and several other people that were in this movie, they had to drop out because of scheduling and because the Weinsteins, ooh, the Weinsteins, they just kept... Screwing people over, screwed Wes Craven over, out making the movie Pulse. They uh, they pushed back scheduling. They made like I think two hundred days of reshoots. It took almost two years to finish this movie, and they didn't want to rated R. They wanted PG thirteen, and they kept whittling it down. They kept refilming. It just, it was just absolute and utter nonsense. And uh, <laughs> you know, as a Wes Craven fan, as a horror fan, as a werewolf fan, because werewolf uh, uh, the werewolf genre is one of my favorite genres. The original Wolfman, American Werewolf from London, and Howling are like my three all time favorite werewolf movies, and it just doesn't seem like we get great werewolf movies uh it just it's just something like i don't know why people can't crack they can't get it right uh it just it aggravates me and i would like to have seen what Wes craven had planned for this movie i mean uh you know Wes craven uh, they, this is something he said about the movie you know in an interview once the contract called for us to make an r-rated film we did it was a very difficult process then it was basically taken away from us and cut to a pg-13 and ruined it was two years of very difficult work and almost 100 days of shooting of various versions then at the very end it was chopped up and the studio thought they could make more with a pg-13 movie and trashed it I thought it was completely disrespectful and it hurt them too and it was like they shot themselves in the foot with a shotgun and Wes Craven has said a whole lot more about this movie as well, too, when he was alive, about everything they did and the disrespectfulness. And, you know, like I brought up some of that earlier in the video. And it's just, <clears throat> on one hand, I got to be honest. I mean, I mean, you can go look up all these two, like, uh, before, before I get into some of my thoughts here. Uh, Wes Craven's thoughts on this, Jesse Eisenberg's thoughts on this, Christina Ricci's thoughts on this, Joshua Jackson's thoughts on this. They've all kind of commented on this movie and everything that happened. And it, it's just a fun read. And check out the, you know, the Pizzle Wall. Uh, man, I hope I'm saying that name right. If I'm not, I apologize. Uh, interview with Patrick Lucier. I put a link down to the description down below for you guys if you want to check that out, if you've never seen it. Uh, it just... I gotta say, I'm a, I'm a Wes Craven fan, werewolf fan, horror fan, you know all this. This movie ranges from, what we got ranges from, that is so ridiculous, oh my god, I love it, to that is so ridiculous, this is one of the worst things I've ever seen, and it tends to lead more on the worst things I've ever seen, and, and 
I'm torn on this because on one hand, I kind of want to own it. I do want to own it because of like the history surrounding it. The, you know, Wes Craven, he's gone away now. He's passed away. And just to have something like this, even though he hated it and the trouble behind it, just to have something like this to know what, uh, what we could have had or something. I don't know. It's kind of like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's just weird. On the other hand, I don't want to get it because I hate it cursed. I did not like that movie. It sucked so bad. And it was, it could have been so much better. Uh, I just don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, what, I don't know. Uh, but I'm just, I gotta say, man, it's, it's interesting that we're getting this. And not, like I said, I don't know the full details yet other than what I've read on Shout Factory screen, you know, what's, Make Scream Factory and Shot Factory one the same. What I've read on there, and it looks like it's just a theatrical cut, an unrated cut, like I said. And I don't think we'll probably ever get that West Craven cut, but I would absolutely love the West Craven cut. And you know, you can hashtag it out there. Maybe we could get a movement going and get some kind of stuff. Maybe we'll on the, maybe the Blu-ray will surprise us and we'll get a bunch of West Craven stuff on there and special feature wise. You know, all the deleted scenes and uh, of the cast and everything that was going to be in it. That'd be interesting. Uh, that would actually probably perk me up to buy it uh i don't know i mean i i gotta think on this one i really do gotta think on this one and you know a lot of times i make these videos on these uh blu-ray and releases and box sets and you know sometimes i just don't have the money to buy them and that's honest i'm it's not like i'm you know rolling in the dough here but uh you know other times i just i try to save to get those and uh this one i don't know this one is going to require a lot of thought a lot of thought uh yeah but I do commend Scream Factory and Shell Factory for making this. Maybe it'll turn out better than we expected. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below. Will you be picking picking up Cursed? Uh, did you know all this stuff about Cursed? Uh, do you have more information that you can tell me about Cursed? Uh, because, you know, I've looked into it. I've read a little bit here and there. But, you know, the movie just sucks so bad. And it, it hurt me because I liked Scream and I liked, uh, uh, you know, Wes Craven and tons of his movies from the past. And it just kind of hurt. And, you know, just to see Wes Craven to be able to do hard R-rated werewolf movie and then have it turned into this is uh, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below and if you like this video please give it a like if you did not like this video you can go ahead and give it a dislike no hurt feelings here share this video out for everybody to see and if you stayed this long and you liked what you saw please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications i would truly appreciate that thank you guys for watching wherever you guys are please have a great safe happy healthy day morning afternoon evening and night godspeed